All right, this is not science fiction, mind reading technology here at CES. Julia Borston has it for us over in the South Hall. Okay, so with that thing on, Julia, can you tell what I'm thinking? I can't tell what you're thinking, but I may be able to move things with my mind, John. Now, this is from a company called Brain Co. It's called the Focus One, and this is one company in a growing category of brain sensing and mind control. It can be used for everything from education to gaming to security to prosthetics. Now, this headband is designed to help to train children to focus in schools. It sells to schools for $350. It also sells to consumers for $500. Now, the idea is that the harder I focus, the more I can train myself to pay attention in class. Now, this um, game here shows that the harder I focus, I'm not sure if it's quite working right now, but I can make this rocket ship go faster. And then if I relax, the rocket ship then slows down. The idea is to give me a better sense of how my brain works. Brain Co. also has a prosthetics division. They have this prosthetic hand here, which the idea is that it picks up on tiny muscle movements and the intention to move your fingers higher up on your arm. This device will cost ten to $15,000 when it goes to market later this year. That's less than half the cost of an average prosthetic. So the more he uses it, the more the algorithm learns about him as an individual. And so the thing that sets this prosthetic apart from other prosthetics is after enough training, he can control individual fingers and it doesn't only rely on predetermined gestures. Another company here at CES is called NextMind. It uses a head-mounted device that's focused on brain signals from your visual cortex that's back here to figure out what you're focused on and to translate that into digital commands. Look at the blue one. Yeah. Look at the blue one, thinking blue. Oh, yeah. it turned blue. Okay. That's cool, <laughs> so right? Gets cool. <laughs> it's like having the force, basically, Looking and applying it. And yeah. red. So the more you concentrate, Green, and the faster it's going to go. Red, blue, red. It, that was a pretty amazing experience. Now, with Next Mind's headset, you can also play this duck hunt video game or change channels on a TV just by focusing your eyes. For $400, Next Mind is selling this headset to developers with the hope that they will create many new applications for it. Now, technology focused on the brain computer interface is expected to be a $1.5 billion market this year and to continue to grow after that. It's already drawn the interest of Facebook. It brought a mind reading, mind sensing technology company for about half a billion dollars last fall. Guys, back over to you. Well, Ju Julia, you're one of the more intense, like focused people I know uh, professionally. So I think you're the perfect person to test this. So tell me, does it all work that well or are there still some kinks to work out? John, I was blown away. It is amazing that, to me, it's amazing that this works at all. But once you figure out what it is that you're trying to do, both of these technologies I found incredibly powerful. So for this one, if you focus really hard and just really think about getting that rocket ship to move, or they have another demo here with trying to get a car to go fast around a track, you really see it move faster. And then when you relax, you kind of zone out it slows down and you really understand, oh, that's what the feeling of focus is. And I actually had this headband on when I was going through my script, when I was doing my live tease, and they said that my focus was really, really strong uh, when I was doing my live tease. And the one with the visual um, focus, I didn't really think it would work. I thought maybe it would be tracking my eyes, but in fact, you, I would, I sort of tested it and I would move my eyes subtly to look at something and it would change the color of the light. It would change the channel on the TV. So I was very impressed. I had tested similar technology about five years ago. This is a world of difference in terms of how reactive this is to really responding to what you're thinking.